G'day guys, in this video I want to give you some tips on how to set up the Killis Cobra bag in your own home, including how to increase the speed to whatever speed you want. Now first of all, I want to give you an update on the situation with the shipping and all the pre-orders. Now all the orders from last year have been shipped. Now we had some trouble with multi-basis and adapters and they've finally all come in. However, I've been having problems with one of the components and that is the click masks. Now the click masks, they're actually manufactured in a factory in Shanghai. And as you may know, Shanghai is actually in lockdown. So I've had a batch of them sitting there and they're not able to come out. So what I've done is I've actually found another factory to manufacture these click masks and they're in the process of getting made. Now they're gonna take about two or three weeks. Now there is a silver lining to the extra weight and that is the new click masks that are made in the new factory are actually a slighter, better quality. So you're going to be getting a better product for that extra little bit of a wait time. So hang in there, they're on their way. Now the one thing about the Culus Cobra bag is it is modular and all of the components I've designed myself in 3D software. So I can improve them. So if you have any suggestions or ideas on how I can improve them, let me know. And that brings me to a review that was just done by C Square Boxing. So I just want to say thank you, Carlo, for doing that review. It's amazing and a privilege to see a professional like yourself using my products and saying the things you say about it. Okay, now I'll take you through the key tips to set this up in your home and how to get the most out of it. So first and foremost, many of you have been asking about the speed. Can you increase the speed? Yes, you can. You can make it really, really fast if you want. Let me take you through. Now, one of the unique things about the Kills Cobra bag is the top section, you can adjust the length of it. You can just adjust the height of it. So you can go up and down through these sort of click buttons. Now, when you're first starting off, or if you're new to Cobra bags, I suggest you start at the very bottom there, and that'll give you the slowest kind of speed. And as you progress, you get better. You can sort of move down. And then, it'll, as you can see, the speed increases. So the longer this section, the slower it'll be. The shorter this section becomes, the faster it becomes. Now, if you want to still retain the same height, you adjust the bottom. So you can adjust the bottom to go lower or, or higher. So depending on how, how tall you are. It is meant for kids as well as adults, but that's not all. You can actually further increase the speed by lowering the spring on the bottom click bar. So you just push the buttons in and push the spring lower down. So as it moves down, that actually increases the speed quite dramatically. So you don't want to lower it so that you've got very few um, open springs. You want to have at least four open springs down here, otherwise you may put too much strain on the spring itself and the spring may actually break. So you can lower it a little bit, maybe an inch, maybe an inch and a half, and then all you do is you use a hose clamp to clamp the bottom spring cap in place. So I've got a little um, hose clamp down here, you know, I could just lock that in place. So now that's actually not going to go anywhere, that's locked in, in place by the hose clamp at the bottom here. But now this bag is super, super fast. So if that's what you want, you want a bag that is really fast, you can still do that. Now bear in mind, you need to have a really sturdy platform for this. And that brings me to the next tip. Probably the most important thing about a Cobra bag, any Cobra bag, is the rigidity of the base. The base needs to be rock solid. I've developed and designed a, a multi-base out of composite fiber that is really, really rigid. But you do need to have a good platform underneath it for it to screw into. If you're screwing into the floor itself, like um, a floor, like a concrete floor in a garage or a decking outside, that's going to give you the most rock solid platform. If not, you just need to have a nice big wide, at least two feet wide platform like a baseboard that you can screw the base onto and have sufficient weights like these Cure sandbags to hold that in place. 
Now, this base here is about two foot wide. It's a squarish kind of base. And even with a single bag, it still does the job. But with two bags, that's gonna allow you to punch that bag really hard and it's gonna be rock solid and it's not gonna move. And that can, that can move pretty fast. As you can see there, it's a fast moving Cobra bag if you want it. But if you, if you wanna extend the reach, you just move that up there. Then you've got a taller section, higher along the reach at the top, but it's slightly slower. Now a few months ago, I did reveal that I'm working on a heavyweight spring. Now I'll talk about that a little bit. The heavyweight spring is really designed to handle a heavier load at the top. So a bigger bag or a heavier bag at the top. In terms of speed, you're still gonna be able to have the same speed, but it's gonna be more for guys who are like heavy hitters that this spring may not take the load. So it's a heavyweight spring with a thicker wire, bigger, more coils in the center to handle that heavier load. I'm still working on that. It requires the base to be rock solid and really well set up. Um, so I will be releasing that, but I'll probably be releasing it with a bigger bag, a heavier bag to match. So that's in the making, that's coming up. I don't know how soon that will be, but I wanna get all the other components out and all the orders shipped out before I release the spring. Now lastly, I wanna give you some key tips for setting up this, installing the adapter into the ball properly so it's nice and neat and it works well. Now when you insert your adapter into the Cobra bag, into this leather Cobra bag, you insert it down here. This adapter is actually soft at the end. So it's designed so that when you're hitting it down the bottom, that soft part is, doesn't crack, doesn't break, it's just able to flex. And it goes in there and then the bladder expands as you pump it up. Now, if you pump it up nice and tight, sometimes the bladder will actually push into, the, into that hole that's in there. You'll see there's like a hole in there. So what I recommend is, I recommend using a bit of tape, like a bit of duct tape or gaffer tape. I've got some gaffer tape here. And you just basically just tape up that hole from the inside so that the, um, the bladder doesn't push through into it. So it's simple, just tape that up, cover the hole to stop the bladder from pushing in. You only need to do it if you're gonna pump the ball really, really tight so it pushes the bladder and it can try and protrude into that space there. Otherwise, you might not even need to worry about it. But that's a little tip. As you push the adapter into the ball, you'll see that the bladder needs to stay in the middle. So you're just pushing the sides in until the whole of the adapter top section, that diaphragm section at the top, goes in so it should sit there nice and easy like that and it just can sort of move side to side so now the bladder is inside i've got a bit of tape there all i need to do now is lace that up and tie the laces around the bottom section here all right so you'll see i've um laced it up the black slightly overlapping of the red side and i've gone around once and tied the laces just like I would do with a shoelace. And now I'm gonna tuck the bottom, these laces just hanging here, I'm gonna tuck them in from underneath using the back of a teaspoon. So just nice and easy, I'm gonna tuck them in there, all of them, because I just don't like them to be messy. I don't like them to be hanging there. So I'm tuck, tucking them in, out of the way, so it's nice and neat. Now when you are pumping this up, you can use a little hand pump like this, this is uh, for a ball. And what I do recommend is just wet the needle before you stick in. Just wet it with your mouth and then put it in. That will allow the bladder to stay inflated nice and firm for longer periods of time. You still need to pump it up from time to time, but if you each time if you wet the needle and then stick that in and pump it up, it'll stay longer than if you just use a dry needle. Okay, so that's all pumped up. It's nice and neat, nicely pumped up. As you can see, the laces are out of the way. It's um, nice and neat and ready to go on to the click bar. Let's put it on, click it in. Got it at a medium sort of height. I've still got the spring adjusted for higher speed. So there you go, guys. Some tips for setting up the Cobra bag so that you get the most out of it.
I've got more stuff that's coming up. I've got more innovation that's coming up, including I'm working on a spa bar add-on. But let me show you just how easy it is to switch to a DIY spa bar using the same base. Now, in some of my previous DIY videos, I made a spa bar like this using a ball bearing that can go onto a three-quarter inch pipe. These are standard three-quarter inch pipes that are used for plumbing. Both the plastic pipes and the steel pipes, the metal pipes, they all have the same outer diameter. It's a standard diameter. And I've made my Cobra bag based on that three-quarter inch pipe exactly so you can modify it, so you can use DIY components. So you can actually make a DIY base for yourself for the Cobra bag and just get a top section and then put it onto your own base. So it saves you money. But it also allows you to use other things or do other things with your um, components. So for example, I can take out the Cobra bag from the base, from the multi-base and the clip mast, and simply insert the DIY spa bar. And because it's made to the three-quarter inch standard, it actually just slides in easily like that. So now I've got a spa bar that I can use as part of that. And in fact, I can even take the top section and just whack it onto the three quarter inch pipe here. Now I've got a spa bar that I can practice with and work with on top of having a Cobra bag. I am working on an actual adapter, an actual uh, 3D version of this spinning thing that's going to it's going to come out but that's later on that possibly at the end of the year maybe next year but for now you can actually just use the DIY version and your multi base um, with the click mast so it just fits straight in now some of you may not have the, the right sort of three quarter inch pipes in some countries some of these three quarter inch pipes are actually made to slightly um, thicker diameter I don't know why but just need to look around and find a warehouse, a hardware store where these pipes are the right, you know, the standard diameter. And in Australia, for example, in Bunnings, these are all the standard diameter and they all fit. Now, when you are looking for them, all you do is you take your top section and just see if it fits into that. If it does, then you've got the right size. Well, that's it, guys. Hopefully, I've given you enough information to help you set up your Cobra bag a little bit better or, or in the best possible way that you can set it up. Don't forget, there are many different ways you can set it up and there are many different ways that you can use it. So it's really up to your own imagination. And the Cures Cobra bag, first modular bag in the world, you can modify, you can change components, more components will be coming out, you'll be able to upgrade components and you can switch with DIY components as well. So not only will it save you money, but it also allows you to make other things that you can add on. It's really just limited by your own imagination. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got any ideas, and I'll see you guys in the next video.